Hello and welcome to Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now, we've been waiting for this for a long time, and hopefully you will have done too. We're going to create a new world here, just so you can have a quick look. It's difficult to explain without really kind of sitting down and having a go at yourself, but the idea is basically, you can do what you want. So here we are. Obviously you can see it says press start to join the game because there is a split screen function in this which we can't show you just yet but rest assured it is brilliant fun and we'll definitely be talking about that more very soon. So yeah, Minecraft. Finally here and finally on a pad. Obviously there'll be a lot of purists who'll say that you know it's better to have a mouse and keyboard but there's really nothing better that we've found so far than just sitting back on a sofa with a couple of friends and doing some nonsense on Minecraft. Now in this obviously you've got the controller which means the right trigger is for mining stuff and the left trigger is for crafting stuff. Obviously, there's more to it than that but as a starting place it's not bad. So obviously I've just collected eight little bricks there, eight little patches of mud. I can then use the left trigger to just point place. Okay as this is the first time in this new Minecraft world I've just generated I'm going to need to get some basics. Now the way stuff works in Minecraft is every type of block is a material and you'll need to collect these to make stuff. If you don't want to make stuff though then you don't really have to make that many things. You can just get yourself a pickaxe and then just start mining away to your heart's content. Making stuff out of big blocks. Now I've got some wood here so what I'm going to do is go into the crafting menu and make some basics. Now wooden planks, no brainer. So each piece of wood I can get gives me four wooden planks. So I'm going to turn all of my wood into wooden planks. And then with that, I can make some sticks. So two wooden planks equals four sticks. Bump. Now, what I need, ideally, is a pickaxe. And I can't make a pickaxe at the moment because the crafting menu I have is quite basic. There are some things you can make anywhere in the world, such as these things little torches and levers and mechanisms but some stuff you need a crafting table so that's what I'm going to make which is basically four bits of wood I can do that bang now I've all dropped my little stick but get that again um, I've got myself a crafting table so I'm just going to out here I'm going to clean up a few of the weeds oh sorry Mr. Cow uh, just because I'm a little bit anal like that and now I'm going to use the crafting table. Now you'll see here we've got loads of stuff we can make. This is Minecraft. Uh, this Minecraft version is based on version 1.6 of the game, which means you've actually got a lot of advancements. This game's been out for a few years, it's been updated loads of times, and you've got loads and loads of stuff you can do now. So you can make beds, you can make fences, you can make ladders, you can make doors. Basically, you've got everything you need here to dig to the center of the earth, arm yourself up with cool weapons and shields and a clock. Hmm, nice. Um, make some food to get your health back, armour, arm yourself up, mechanisms, if you want to get really complicated you can make some pretty amazing stuff, look on YouTube you'll find some crazy mind boggling stuff, I think someone's made an actual computer using Minecraft which my brain can't understand, and transport, you can also make yourself Minecraft, the transport, you can also make yourself uh, minecarts, which is pretty cool, a Minecraft with a furnace in it, handy. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a pickaxe. Now, obviously I can make increasingly good pickaxes depending on the equipment I've got, but at the moment all I've got is wood. So a wooden pickaxe it is. I'm going to make two actually because they do have a tendency to break. Now I've got a pickaxe, let the mining begin. So, now that I've got a pickaxe, it means I can get through stone very, very quickly. Where if I use my hands, I can still do it, but it's going to take an age. Anyway, what I really need to find at the moment is coal, because you'll see already I'm not very far into the cave and it's getting really, really dark. Um, basically, yeah, if I can get some coal, then I can combine it with the sticks and I can make some little lights, which I can stick on the wall, and they will do me an absolute treat. And here we are, coal, brilliant. Only one bit, but that's all I need for now. I'm gonna go back to my crafting table and make myself some lights. So now I've used my coal and I've got myself a little light. Now at the moment it's not too dark so it doesn't really make much of a difference but later on as soon as it gets dark you're really going to need these so but if I just whack one up there then you'll see yeah already brightens it up nicely. And this is where the horrible obsession with Minecraft really starts to begin because so far all we've already done is made a pickaxe and started digging a little hole. Well, that's fine. What's the harm in that? 
But six hours later, I'm going to be about, you know, 40 feet down to the earth in a giant cavern searching for gold and diamonds. And yeah, it, it doesn't really stop. But you'll notice that also I'm picking up all these blocks. Every time I destroy a brick, I get one. So I've got, you'll notice, 23 little blocks of stone at the moment, which is not a bad start. In fact, I'll go and show you what I can do with that stuff in a minute. So yeah, one of the clever things about Minecraft is you can kind of make stuff wherever you want. As long as there's an edge that you can reach, you can reach quite far, you can just build stuff next to other blocks. So here what you'll see is I'm making a little, little, sort of little staircase because I'm trying to get to the top of this little cliff so I can show you something quite cool. And yeah, I can literally just do that by uh, building a staircase as I go. And you can also be really cheeky and just do this, uh, which is a really good way to get quite high quite quickly. And you'll see here, if you're very, very, very careful, you can kind of edge along and you can actually make these little bridges just on the edge. I'm probably going to fall off in a minute if I'm not careful, but yeah, you can basically just build yourself a bridge. And I want to build myself a bridge over there so I can make a castle on a floating island. I can't really imagine a better place to live. Um, but you'll also notice um, it's getting quite dark now, which means that I am in trouble. I haven't got a house yet, I haven't got a bed. Uh, to do so, get a bed I think I need to go and shave some sheep and get some wool. Um, um, yeah. So that's a kind of introduction to Minecraft on Xbox. Uh, obviously, you've got a whole new system. You've got the inventory system, which now you can do uh, a combination of. You can use the analog stick if you want to move around and select things. Um, but if you want a bit more precision, then you can also just use the D-pad, which I kind of prefer actually. So I can put stuff in my inventory, and that's how you get around in terms of equipment and boxes and making little guy. So yeah, it's you know pretty much everything we expected. The multiplayer stuff is awesome. We'll show you that soon, hopefully. Uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will have more of this stuff soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go and try and dig a hole in the ground and hope that I don't get eaten by monsters. Bye.